Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you at this time. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Boundaries. <sighs> but you can be at peace. I feel like some of you need some alone time with this. I feel like you need to just go and do your own thing away from people, even if it's just for a couple hours. But boundaries number 12, being at peace under the deck number 28. All right, then when we go to this deck, all right. <clears throat> Obviously, you may need to have firm boundaries with a specific person um, sometime this week. So let's see what else is showing up. Sword and the Rose with the coffee cup. You could have a very personal conversation with someone. You would know this person well. You might say something with the Sword and Rose or they might. So be prepared for this. This may be someone who you don't really... Not that you don't like what they're saying. You just don't want to go along with it. You're not into what they're saying. So then you may have to set them straight. The sword in the rose. But um, it's kind of like someone wants you to do something for them. And you're kind of like putting up boundaries. Like, nope, I don't really want to do that. So what is going on for Aries this week? What do they need to know? Ten of coins. Ten of wands. And this is someone else's energy. So devil. This person feels like they can control you, Aries. Or they want to control you. This is surprising, you being the emperor and all. Yep, five of swords and the eight of wands. Messages, communication, but nine of cups is under the deck. So I think this is just a test of you having firm boundaries with a specific person, whether this is family, friends, love, boss, coworker. What is this, ten of coins? Up in the air, something's up in the air. So there's communication. Now, ten of coins, okay, I feel like someone who always is having issues or troubles or going through things is going to hit you up again to go out for a drink or coffee, and then they're going to probably need your assistance or help. It may be your challenge this week to step up and say, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't have time to help you. And you're okay with saying that. You don't have to feel guilty. Okay, because Seven of Cups tells me someone's going to say something to you, and you don't really know what it is they want to talk about. You know when someone wants you to text them or call them, but you don't know what it's about, and sometimes you're kind of worried, like, oh. You know, so this might be a family member or sometimes, yeah, I just, these two want to fall out. This is a strength card and the ace of swords. I feel like you have to step up and basically speak your mind about something. Be very clear. You may be dealing with a Leo. Let's see. This might be an ending to a situation. It doesn't have to be at all. I just saw the two of coins world card. But what is this ten of wands? Eight of coins walking away. Someone may have left a job, walked away. Maybe they just quit. Maybe they, I feel like this person gets themselves in problems all the time, Aries. And then they want you to help them get out of them. And like, oh, can I come crash with you? Oh, can you loan me some money? Spirit is clearly telling you when this comes up this week to say no. Set boundaries. I guess you don't have to say no. Boundaries could be something in between. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you can come stay with me, but it's only from one week. And I'm not going to buy you any food. You have to go out and purchase your own. You know, something like that. Yeah, be at peace. Four of swords, five of cups. Five of swords. It's almost like you're meant to do this because you're showing them... To appreciate you more, this person may take you for granted because the devil can show me a lot of different like bad habits. So someone taking you for granted. It's only like the peace card. Be at peace with yourself, but also you're putting them in a spot where they have to stop and look at things with the four swords, but now they're feeling bad. I don't think you're going to feel bad. One more for the five of cups. The spirit wouldn't, yeah, spirit wouldn't let that happen to you if this is what's coming through to your reading. There's something about like they didn't appreciate you. Uh, it's making this is making them look back at the past. So could this be a love of someone like your lover, ex, something like that? Absolutely, appreciating you more, seeing what you've done for them. What is this five of swords energy? Yeah. Okay. So this is coming direct from spirit, like it always does. But it's, it's definitely you are meant to stand up for yourself in the situation, even if it's just a small situation, you know, and just because that's the right thing to do. This person has tried to run you over before, and I think they have been successful. Sometimes this can be with kids, too. I mean, this would be grown kids, you know, 20s, um, over 18, something like that. But um, this is about, because I feel like this person could, this could be the challenge, because what's hidden is the Five of Swords, but this can also be a challenge position. And it's kind of like this person doesn't really care about other people. So you're showing them something about themselves that they need to look at, and they can deal with it on their own. It's just, you just need to set up boundaries. And speak your mind because this is actually a test for you with justice is what it's telling me this is this is meant to happen and you saying no or whatever is good eight of wands page of coin two of swords and the death card 
This could be a love situation for some of you where you are telling this person, no, it's over. It might be a Scorpio. But this is like communicating, not wanting to see that something's over. Okay, this person may be very manipulative with you also. They may be someone who kind of like throws a tantrum. Well, if you're not going to give me this, then you know what? Then it's over. We're done. I'm never going to speak to you again. I'm never going to talk to you. If they walk away from you, be at peace. It's fine. If you set boundaries up and this person doesn't like it, that's okay. It's meant to happen. They, they I get like they're not, they're not, they're bluffing. Eight of Wands tells me there's still messages coming towards you with this person. There looks like there could be a resolution between the two of you that you could work this out. Because for some of you, this may not be someone like you want to get rid of in your life. You know what I mean? It's you don't have to cut them off and tell them no. It's you know forever. But um, but they may try to pull something though. So don't be surprised if they do. If they try to say, "Well, I'm never going to talk to you again. It's over. I hate you. Whatever." That's not going to happen. I think they're just uh, nine of cups. Four of wands. This might help them be more successful. I mean, it's almost like a child, a grown child again who you push out into the world and say, you know, no, you, you can't live with me forever. You got to get out there. And they end up enjoying it. They end up, you know, getting a new place to live. They enjoy being with their friends. They buy a new car. They, they're they successful because of this. I feel like this is someone, again, who keeps quitting jobs instead of sticking with anything. Eight of Cups. Yeah, because and that Seven of Swords was under the deck when I showed you this. And there it is again. This tells me this person causes trouble for themselves by doing stupid things like not not sticking with anything, not learning anything, um, getting in fights with people, getting fired, things like that. Page of Wands. Yeah, could be an argument that comes out of the situation if you're not careful. Might be about a father figure, money, a person who's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm almost kind of getting like someone may blame a fire an earth sign, I'm sorry, or father figure. I don't know. Could be this person coming to you. Obviously, it could be a Capricorn specifically or another Earth sign talking to you. Because I have Page of Coin here also. So that tells me it could be an Earth sign talking to you. So, but I just feel like, oh, okay. So they're also saying, though, clearly, okay, for some of you, this is a situation where you do need to have firm boundaries and be okay with it and just speak your mind and move on. This is something that does need to end. This person may want to meet for coffee or something. Because you're in the middle maybe of healing your heart, possibly. That just fallout says healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction okay i'm going to change the tone of the reading right now because i am i'm, I'm seeing more it's coming out and i didn't want to put my own personal spin of what i'm feeling spirit trying to tell me until i saw saw it more clearly but this nine of cups is actually you this is a situation that probably needs to be over in your life someone who is maybe an ex someone who keeps coming back around um who is trying to control you is what i'm seeing here aries maybe i'm trying to make you feel guilty but one more please this isn't a healthy situation for you. There's that coffee cup again, an addiction. Okay, either you're addicted to this. Well, I don't want to say you're addicted to this person. Because um, you may be addicted to love or person or situation or just being treated a certain way. Or this person has addictions and they're always causing these kinds of problems. But now the coffee cup came out in reverse, which these don't have reverse meaning. But it kind of makes me like, no, don't, don't take this offer. Don't take this invitation to go out for a a drink or coffee because you are still in healing mode this person i don't think it's you who's addicted to this person this person may be dependent on you it says controlling possession obsession has a block and a restraint this is not a healthy person i feel like this is a situation that may need to end okay and if you were to do this i feel like you would be happy nine of cups to move on nine of cups so i feel like there's a um <clears throat> i feel like this person has a spiritual block on you in a sense, kisses, axe, breakup, girl with a snake and dragonfly. They may have broken up with somebody recently, but there's a third party who's not probably healthy that's involved with them. I mean, there's a lot of details I could expand this reading, but I can see what, what's going on here for the majority of you. That Like this person went off with someone else, third party. Now they're coming back around. Now they want to make up with you fix things with you spirit what does aries need to know with this reading okay chemistry you are attracted to this person though true love oh my goodness support okay and stability all right but there's always obstacles passion needing to forgive forgive this person past life okay there's a decision here okay so this is a situation that's coming full circle again and it's coming back around. Now, there may be chemistry between you and this person and true love at one time. They may want your support and your stability is what I'm seeing here. But there's always obstacles in the way. This person could be a player. They could always, you know, have a wandering eye. There, I know there's someone else involved. Could, 
girl with the snake is showing up and acts here also. So there's a situation here where this is like a repeating cycle where you need to have boundaries with this person and basically just be like, this is over, this is done. Um, Cause they're coming back around. This is not gonna be, this is not like a healthy reunion or a reconciliation from what I can see. I think the healthiest thing for you to do is step up for yourself and not let this person dominate you, dominate your energy and all that stuff. So you may need to forgive this person for whatever they've done. Um, some of you like might want to forgive this person and get back together, but I see the, the cycle repeating though. I see this person hasn't really changed. Yes, the passion's there, the love is there. You we care about this person, Aries. It's hard to say no, is what I'm getting here. But um, I just know what the tarot is telling me to tell you with this with the cards. Okay, this person can put on a good false front. I'm gonna pull cards for them anyways, though. <clears throat> This, okay, technically what I'm saying here is this person feels like they can control you. They have you under their thumb areas that, that you will take them back and that they can repeat the cycle with you. So I know it's not the best reading, not what I was expecting, but it's what spirit wants me to share with you. I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. This definitely could be a relationship that you know that's time to walk away. But let's see. I regret my past mistakes and wish I could have another chance with you. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. And I'm scared you will not accept me now. So this is how they're feeling. I don't like this one where they're listening to other people. So they can be swayed that easy. They don't see your um, value. Other people can talk shit about you. And then they just follow what they're saying. Other people are saying. No, this person needs to miss you a lot more than what they're missing you now. Okay. Let me pull from one other deck in closing for your advice. Um, what is Aries advice? Aries courage so again you're being told to have the courage to step up to this person to stand up to this person that is your path what you need to do so all right i'm gonna leave it there aries have a great week